and welcome to Body, Mind, and Spirit, Meditations for the Soul. On this Monday, Thursday of Holy Week, our meditations come in three parts, in three blessings. These blessings are from the, a book by Jan Richardson called Circle of Grace. The first blessing is a blessing of foot washing. The second blessing is a blessing of the bread and the cup as we celebrate communion together. And the third blessing is a blessing for staying awake, for watching and waiting in prayer. So if you want, I invite you to gather some elements from your own home to participate physically in these blessings together. You might get a bowl of water, maybe with a pitcher, maybe just a bowl of water, and perhaps a towel. For communion, I invite you to get whatever you want to take communion with. It might be a cookie or a cracker or a piece of bread or a potato chip or anything else. You might have juice or wine or water or tea or soda, whatever um, you want to take communion with. I invite you to gather those elements as well. So let us begin with a reading from John chapter 13, verse five. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and wiped them with the towel that was tied around him. As if you could stop this blessing from washing over you. As if you could turn it back, could return it from your body to the bowl, from the bowl to the pitcher, from the pitcher to the hand that set this blessing on its way. As if you could change the course by which this blessing flows. As if you could control how it pours over you, unbidden, unsought, unasked. Yet startling in the way it matches the need you did not know you had. as if you could become undrenched, as if you could resist gathering it up into your two hands and letting your body follow the arc this blessing makes. So I invite you to take your bowl of water, to take your towel, 
you dip the bowl, dip the towel into the water and take each foot, washing your feet. Feel the washing over of this blessing on you on this Holy Thursday. Feel the coolness of the water on your feet. Feel the blessing of God pouring over you. Amen. As we enter into this time of communion, with one another. Hear these words from 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23 through 25. On the night when he was betrayed, Jesus took a loaf of bread and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, this is my body that is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Let us bless the bread that gives itself to us with its terrible weight, its infinite grace. Let us bless the cup poured out for us with a love that makes us anew. Let us gather around these gifts simply given and deeply blessed. And then let us go, bearing the bread, carrying the cup, laying the table with a hungering world. Jesus provided us with a ritual of remembrance. so that when we are apart, we could still be together. And so you are invited 
to take and eat. Take and drink in remembrance that though we are apart, we are still together in Christ. As we come to an end on this Monday, Thursday, hear these words from Mark chapter 14, verse 32. They went to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, sit here while I pray. Hear now this blessing for staying awake. Even in slumber, even in dreaming, even in sorrow, even in pain, awake, awake. Awake my soul to the one who keeps vigil at all times for you. Amen.